Welcome all you plus two common modifiers back to the stream. Welcome back to the Not Prawn Weeklies. TV's Noah here, Diet Coke in hand, and also blanket, because I am very, very chilly. Whew. I'm doing very well. I'm just a little chilly. And today we are taking on yet another Not Prawn Weekly puzzle. And this time, taking on a new challenger. I'm taking on the Vish in the puzzle. So, I'm excited. Uh, I noticed that this only has four solvers. <laughs> so, it's a bit scary times here. So, uh, let's get into it. Once again, this is one of the weekly puzzles made by the Not Prawn community. It's not the active puzzle, because I don't solve the active puzzles, because I don't want to spoil things. But this is a previous weekly puzzle you can solve at the website above. The rules are simple. I am going to try to solve this to the best of my ability. The Vish is here to mock me and my lack of intelligence. And if I want, I can plead for help. But the Vish can make me dance or sing or dab in order to earn hints. But I'm not going to need hints this time. I'm feeling confident. Only four solvers. I'm feeling confident. Let's do this. I'm going to use the power of cold. Not a lot of people were solving back then. All right, good. Let's go. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. All right, so we're stopping in a drop box. We're starting in a drop box. See you later. All right. Not if I see you first. Welcome. Welcome. This is so friendly. I dare you to read this. Mm -hmm. mm, scaries. Oh, I can't read that. It's gibberish. Interesting. Let me. Um. There are spaces, which is interesting. Vish is now uh, realizing what this is. Um, let me go ahead and copy this. Put this in our scratch here. Whoops. Can I not copy this? I guess it wants me to download it. I'll download it. All right, so that's been downloaded. Thank you. Uh, next up, what else we got in here? Grade one. I like my grandson's albums. Interesting, let's download that as well. Hmm. So, could be talking about music, could be talking about uh, photo albums. Stay in here. Don't know what that is. Now, I believe I did see a note about using WinRAR, which I don't think is a program I have. Because it's shy. It's a little shy. It's just a little, little shy guy. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at all we have here. I don't know why I downloaded so many times, but whatever. Wait, what happened here? All right, let's, we, I think we need WinRAR or whatever. Hey, chat. I believe I've downloaded this for another puzzle in previous not prawn issues, but uh, not on this computer. Thank you. I appreciate that, Vish. Yeah, I'm not buying WinRAR. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, there's a there's going to be a lot of stuff to go on here apparently. Or not. <laughs> There it is. Boom. Just let me download it, please. What? No. I don't care. <laughs> no, what is this? Oh, this is some poop. Oh, what is this? Anywhere. You jerk. Come, Bill Gates trying to do stuff. How dare you? All right. Let's get this WinRaw going. Install. Sure. <laughs> Done. Uh, thank you. <laughs> All right. So now I got WinRAR. So let's try to open that thing again and we'll use WinRAR. Uh, where is that? It was in my download. Ba ba ba. Hey, Winrar. I'm not paying for you. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, so here we can finally see. All right, so I dare you to read this. This is interesting in that there are spaces in here, but not a lot. Yeah, the only spaces are at the bottom, which is very interesting. I also see a lot of repeated letters, like this person is shivering, just like me. God. Um, repeated X's, things like that. Very interesting. Don't think it's just a simple... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's the, I don't think it's a simple cipher. I don't think it's a simple replacement code. Something else is going on here, uh, especially with all the punctuation that's in there. Very suspicious. Uh, and yeah, it also, I doubt it's simple uh, replacement in that we have a bunch of C's in a row. We have three C's in a row followed by four A's in a row. And there's no English words that have the same letter four times in a row. So that's out. Maybe a Venetian veneer, veneer cipher, Venetian blinds or veneer cipher. Uh, all right, so interesting. Oh, uh, back to Winrock. Then this is, I like my grandson's albums. There's literally nothing else here. Interesting. Okay. And then, stay in here. Enter password. Hmm. Interesting. So this is password protected. Where did it go? Hmm. Go ahead and hit show password so you guys can enjoy me figuring this out. So, I guess what I would assume is this is somehow the password. Uh, let me Go ahead, and we don't need this download anymore. Veneer cipher. Vene, Venetian. This is what I want. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and guess. Uh, I don't actually want to do it myself because I'm lazy and I'm doing a stream. Uh... Decoder. Uh, I'm going to guess that uh, 
Yeah, we gotta get rid of this. So I'm going to get ahead and guess. Ooh, this is, mm, it's almost doubtful though because of the punctuation. I was gonna guess that this is the ciphertext, blam. And then this is the key. Where's my key? That was my theory. Or spaces also forget forbidden characters. Aha! And as you see, it's clearly solved. The password is Thank you. Thanks for joining in on the stream. Nailed it. Okay. So, yeah, I will say that I did not really have any reason to jump to that type of cipher. Um, uh, I will ask uh, just for dumb American reasons. Uh, does grade one... I feel like your the like grade schools in other countries work on different systems. Do you think that is something that I should care about? Uh, what else could this be? No, 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 no school. Also shivering. Everyone's very cold today. Uh, that Diet Coke is not helping. Um... Are these equal character-wise? Because these line breaks seem very uh, deliberate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen characters. All the way down the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen characters. Very suspicious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. More than thirteen characters. Okay. So 13 by 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 13 by 9. This is a 13 by 9. Hmm. So how many characters we have? Bring out the calculator. No, that's a completely different number. 117 characters. That's counting spaces and punctuation. Um, I cannot believe that the punctuation is correct in this. Uh, like, because like the first word would be like screaming "Don't" or something like that, and I would know that J is T, which would be super interesting information to have. But uh, there's a period next to a question mark. Like, that makes me think, yeah, th that's incorrect. Unless it's like, hmm, I guess it could end in Mr., but, uh, like, 
that's also just T alone next to a semicolon, so that's not going to be it. <sighs> All right, what's going on here? Chili, chili, chili. All right. I like my grandson's albums. Is that the password? I might as well try that, right? Um, what? I'm guessing that didn't work, is what this is saying. Crypt file or wrong password. Okay. Definitely need to start with grade one to figure this out. I like my grandson's albums. There's not any more information I'm missing here, right? We went from the paste bin. I mean, double check the paste bin. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything else hiding here. Vavish. My grandson's albums. So I, I feel like where I'm at currently is correct. Of like, we are trying to guess this password based off of We're trying to guess this password based off of the information that we have in these two documents. But there's not, hmm. And once again, we're in, in that oh so chilling situation where I see that there's a good number of viewers, but none of them are speaking, so I know it's all people who already know the answer. <laughs> Silently judging. All right, so. All right, so. I like my grandson's albums. There's nothing special about that sentence. It's not like... I mean, I guess it could be an anagram, but it's not like a palindrome or like... The order of the letters mean anything? Like, is it, it's not an acrostic? Il... G... <laughs> I-L-G-A. Mm, it's nothing. Um... It's a simple sentence. I'm thinking. I'm trying to think like a first grader. It shows possession. I mean, he's. A, they're only talking about one grandson, or not? Not all the grandsons' albums, because then that would be s apostrophe. I don't think it's a quote from anything, but I guess we'll Google it. 
was like, yeah, it's a famous quote from the Maltese Falcon. I don't... That's it. I kept adding my. I don't know how many times I said that sentence and just said, I like my grandson's albums, but it's just, I like grandson's albums, who apparently is a musician. Check it out. So perhaps it is one of his albums. There's his EPs. He's a featured artist and all this stuff. All right. Vish is laughing. That's a, that's a good sign. Uh, we'll, that, we'll go with no apologies. Alpha, no apologies. All right. What else do we got? What else do we got? Broken down. New. Stop it. I don't know why this is being so finicky. Nope. Uh... Is staying here important? Let's try. No. Thought maybe it was the, like the name of a song on the album or something. Uh, or first grade or grade one grade. I always just, I feel like I'm wimping out when it's like, I'm gonna just randomly guess all of his albums. <laughs> No. Got two more to try. What? Why? What? There we go. We'll see that they all have something in common. A modern tragedy, a modern tragedy, a modern tragedy. I mean, I tried just a modern tragedy. Uh, they were all fueled by ramen. Which, excellent name for a label. Yep. Oh, oh, this is upcoming. This one isn't out yet. We're looking forward to to that one. Featured artists, some music videos. Modern tragedy seems to be his favorite. We'll take a look at that and see if there's anything going on in there that make me think that's the answer. I'm also going to try, like, maybe this. Get rid of the spaces. Spaces have no purpose in a password. No.
have something in common. Brought me to the same exact thing. Yeah, now, now they don't have their own pages. All right. What am I missing here? Blood water again? Do they do they all just have that song? <laughs> what other qualities can albums have? Uh I mean it could be their tracks. Uh, let me just, let me maybe try searching grandson musician, not on Wikipedia, and see if I could find like some better information on him. Uh, it could be the tracks. It could be the producer, the label. Um, I'm gonna try not to play any of his music so I don't get. Grandsonmusic.com. Ooh. Ooh, don't like him. I don't care for him. <laughs> I find him very upsetting. Uh, let's go to the store and see if he's got his album for sale. Uh, no. <laughs> he's pro-voting in mask. That's good. Grandson, you're creepy. We're going to get out of your store. No. Grandson albums. Uh, so they're all in black and white. Uh, which is interesting. There's blood and water again. I'm curious if... Does that just show up on everything? No. Rock bottom. Oh no. Put me under. Destroy me. Die young. Apologize, stigmata. Is this what you... Is, is this what you... Fowlin. Dark side. Blood and water stick up. Hmm. So they all have five songs. Uh, they all have black and white Whoa, they all, have, what happened there? They all have black and white covers with X's over the eyes. They all, have explicit language. What am I missing here? I'll have five tracks. The track names weren't repeated, like for some reason I believed was going to happen. Um...
was my idea. Not all the albums are black and white? Is that so? Oh, there's one more, right? There was the, the breakdown one. Where, where's breakdown? It's, it's like hiding right here. I can't reach it. Products of my environment. And that one's not five songs. Ooh. Well, this one's by Pop a lot, not necessarily. That's a good idea. All right, so we got some colors. We got the X's over the eyes, though. That, yeah, big fan of that. So we got the X's over the eyes. X's over the eyes. X's over the eyes. So that's not what I want. These are what I want. Eyes crossed out is the important thing. Yeah, so I just want to do this. Boom. Boom. There it is. Turn the I's into X's and password. Come on. Nailed it. I's crossed out is the important thing you need to find. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess I could turn all... There Are there no eyes in this gobbledygook? There's not. But there are X's, which is interesting. <laughs> Warning, maybe a small leap in logic here. Uh, Alright, so I need to cover my own eyes, clearly. This isn't helping. Um, so my, I'm gonna just talk out loud for a bit. Uh, I immediately want to make the jump that I is referring to the letter I, uh, just because all I have in front of me is words, and I don't have any pictures of eyeballs or anything like that. Um, so. It makes me think that the X's are meant to be eyes in I dare you to read this. Or shall I say, X dare you to read this. But in turning it to eyes, I don't I don't think that's gonna get me anywhere. Like yeah, there's a lot of X's, but turning them into I's don't make words. Like, I can... No, I can't even make... I was going to make the assumption that this is the word didn't, but that's not going to help me because, one, that would mean both the letter P and the letter M are D's, which doesn't make any sense. And that's just me trying to force a contraction to work. Uh, looking at my keyboard, X's to I's doesn't really mean 
all that much to me keyboard wise like distance that would mean like C's or O's and V's or P's right I'm trying to think of I'm just trying to hold my hands this way U's and Z's that's mm. Uh, X's over eyes. I mean, it, it represents death usually in a cartoon. Um, X's and eyes also make me think about Roman numerals, but that doesn't really get me anywhere. I'm trying to make. I'm just trying to make some leaps here. Always X's over eyes on these, so. If I make an actual X over the letter I, I get almost an asterisk. Isn't that exciting to hear, right? Uh, what could you do with this? Maybe a small leap of logic here, but another clue would confirm your idea. Be quiet, train. I'm doing a show. We don't want to hear from you, train. What's up, Styles? <laughs> this is going horrendously. Nah, it's going okay. Uh... It's just, it's one of those ones, there's a lot of pondering. I'd rather, to be honest, I much prefer a puzzle with lots of pondering with an aha moment than a puzzle that I kind of figure out what I have to do in the process of doing. It's a pain. Uh, yeah, get those wings. Just stay socially distanced. Because I think restaurants are closing soon. Uh, what else could I do? X's over eyes. X's over eyes. Xing out eyes. Eyes. A potato has eyes. I. I don't know. X don't know. Uh. <laughs> I hear that. Uh, X is over eyes. X gonna give it to you. X marks the spot. Uh, exchanging. Extreme. Um, rum, 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 rum. This look like anything? I've done it. Just told me nothing. Oh shit. <laughs> I was hoping I could just hit Control Z a bunch of times, but it only remembers one undo. Stupid notepad. <laughs> Combine crossing out eyes with the two text file names? X dare you to read the k Grade one. Grade one doesn't do anything, right? 
I mean, I could just remove the eyes, just in general. Well, there was no eyes to begin with. It was all X's. Right? We'll close this. Don't save. <laughs> I'm going to start this over. It would just be dare you to read this. This would be LKI Grandson's albums. It is true that I haven't really spent a lot of time thinking about why things are saved under the names they are. Stay XN here. Grade one, stay in here. I dare you to read this. Grade one. Well, it'd be grade one T I T. Tit. Oops. <laughs> the X's are eyes, you know. Ooh. I'm missing something big here. I'm missing something. I still haven't made that leap yet, I don't think. And I haven't gotten any giggles out of the Vish, which is usually my sign that I'm moving in the right direction. I want my giggle. Uh, man. With the two text file names. No, nothing. Here's your giggle. Am I am I getting close? Grade one doesn't have an I or an X in it. This is a wall. This is a wall I'm up against right now. So, so theories that I have, just gonna just talk out loud some more. Replacing eyes with X's and X's with eyes. The simple s substitution idea doesn't really get anyone anywhere. No matter where, looking at file names, looking at each file, doesn't really get anyone anywhere. Removing, see I thought maybe something about removing stuff. Dare you to read Tia. THS Cause like Kind of feeling something on like I dare you to read this it has exactly two eyes I like grandson's albums has exactly two eyes I don't have a lot of stream left. I'd like to make some progress. 
Because, like, that is a coincidence. All right. Because I'm, I, I seriously doubt that opening stay in here. It's just going to say, like, congratulations and celebrations. You have solved the puzzle. And then a picture of someone giving me a thumbs up. I'm sure there's more to do in there. And, like, everything that I've... The progress I've made so far is not substantial proge- progress in that, like... Had I been doing this off stream, there is nothing to signal me that I'm on the right track currently. Like, if I was not on stream, I'd still be looking at this like, maybe it has nothing to do with this artist, this this musician guy at all. Is a word is a letter. I dare you to read this, but uh, well, it doesn't mean anything really. Ah, uh, ponder, ponder, ponder. What is this file folder? Have I missed something? No, it's just welcome, right? Yeah. Well. Uh, Vish, would it be fair to say that at this point I have the pieces, it's just making them fit? Or is there a piece I'm still missing? Because that's how I feel right now. I feel like I have all the information I should need. Eyes are crossed out. Grade one. I dare you to read this and this gibberish and the password thing. You need some more Googling. Oh. Eyes crossed out. Great. One. Mmm. Now we're clearly on the right path here. Let's give it a cross to go with X. <laughs> That's not how you spell that word, I'm sure. No, we want to get away from the word <laughs> crossed. Uh, Xed. Ugh. X is over eyes. This is something I might want to read later. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be a good... <laughs> There's going to be a lot of things there. Since this step is kind of dumb and hard, I like your first idea of covering your eyes. Okay. Oh, okay. So I just need to... cover my eyes. So click this and then eyes closed just... 
Oops. <laughs> I'm just going to close my eyes and let this go. All right, eyes are closed. Damn it. That didn't work. I dare you to read this. Well, I, I just, I don't read it. I do the opposite of reading it. I don't look at it. <laughs> I, I, I do the op. I don't look. Don't look at it. I'm trying to see if there's something hidden here. Uh, the I uh, don't I I look at the negative spaces. I don't I don't look at it. I um I I I look at it like a magic eye and look through it. I. I don't I don't read it I just do the sound I had to go up because of the question mark I like the idea of covering your eyes. View. <laughs> Zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe I should zoom out. Uh, oh, mm. This must be torture to watch me dance around it like this. Uh, like the idea of me covering my eyes. I think you might just be trying to make me look dumb. Just squint. It's a Japan's day. I'm I'm sorry that I'm filling you with discouragement here and making you second guess your puzzle. Uh I I know Weaver said when I did uh their puzzle that these puzzles were made for a very specific audience who kinda like would jump to logical conclu or what the group would consider a logical conclusion, but not no Hulahan would think it was average. No! <laughs> Stop fish. <laughs> I won't I won't I won't read you do this. you you uh disparaging yourself. Eyes are covered. Does it have anything to do with the creature from uh <laughs> Pan's Labyrinth? Uh so it's 4:30. So that's going to be the end of the sh of the stream. <laughs> The idea is all of a sudden this step is bad. Well, I'm having a ball. I will plead for a hint next time. Uh, we do these uh, not prawn streams every Tuesday at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. I stream every weekday at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. Join me tomorrow for very close to the end of the Flash Game Paradox. Thursdays for the Black Watchmen. Friday for Battle Royale Royale Previews. Uh, we'll be playing Soviet Jump Game, comrade, next uh, Friday. And also be sure to sign up for Soviet Jump... Not Soviet Jump Game. For Battle Royale Royale over at BattleRoyaleRoyale.com where you can win $500. I'm, big, I'm doing a big charity uh, video game tournament for the Trevor Project. Check it out. BattleRoyaleRoyale.com Be great to have you. And also be sure to follow me here on Twitch so you can get a notification every time I go live. And also... Subscribe to Plus Two Comedy Gaming so you can catch up on all my past live streams. And I will see you all next time. <sighs> Boop!